like classic or historic premillennialism, dispensational premillennialism believes that Christ will return before the millennium. But it's more complicated in its timeline than historic premillennialism. Let's take a look at it. We begin with Christ's first coming, which starts the New Testament church age. The next major event on the horizon is not the signs of the times, but what is called the parousia, coming of Christ for his church. This is not the second coming because Christ does not come all the way to the earth. Rather, he raptures the living believers and resurrects dead New Testament believers who will all meet him in the air, pass through the New Testament church judgment before being invited to the seven-year marriage supper of the Lamb. So you see there there is a coming, inverted commas, a resurrection and a judgment. The seven-year tribulation period then begins on earth and it starts well with many in Israel being converted. But halfway things start going badly. The signs of the times appear, natural and spiritual disasters and sufferings, and it climaxes with the great tribulation sufferings at the hand of Antichrist and his armies. But once that seven-year period is completed, then we have the Battle of Armageddon. Christ then returns to earth with his church. And this is the real second coming, often called the revelation of Christ or the apocalypsis. In this, Christ comes all the way to the earth. He wins Armageddon, destroys Antichrist and his forces. He then resurrects tribulation martyrs and Old Testament saints. And the judgment of the nations will then take place. That's sometimes called the sheep goats judgment. Again, notice that triad of coming, resurrection and judgment. Christ then binds Satan and the millennial kingdom begins on earth with Christ reigning from Jerusalem for 1,000 blessed years. However, at the very end, Satan is briefly released to lead the hordes of Gog and Magog against the church. But Christ comes in fiery judgment on these enemies and casts Satan into the bottomless pit. There will then be the resurrection of all the wicked dead, together with those saints who died in the millennial period. And that brings us to the Great White Throne Judgment. You'll see this is the third group of coming, resurrection and judgment. So there are three comings, as it were, three resurrections and three judgments. Then begins the new heavens and the new earth. So basically, dispensational premillennialism teaches that Christ's second coming will occur in four phases. You've got Christ's rapture, at his parousia coming, Christ's revelation, at his apocalypse is coming, Christ's reign over the millennial kingdom, and then Christ's renewal, the new heavens and the new earth, which is the eternal kingdom.